Good morning and welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. We welcome all of our brothers and sisters joining us this morning on our various social media platforms. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries, calling to mind our sins, mindful of God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman, Bishop. O oh God, who called the Bishop St. John Newman renowned for his charity and pastoral service to shepherd your people in America. Grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent us his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. 
O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit our reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory, glory to you o lord when jesus saw the vast crowd his heart was moved with pity for them for they were like sheep without a shepherd and he began to teach them many things by now it was already late and his disciples approached him and said there is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy 200 days wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places and rose by hundreds and by fifties. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up 12 wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were 5,000 men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A mom taking time to feed her newborn baby in the middle of the night. A dad teaching his teenager how to drive for the first time. A priest learning how to use live streaming services in order to reach his parishioners in the midst of a pandemic. A religious learning how to video conference in order to see her first communion students. A nurse taking double shift to care for dying patients in need. Throughout our life, and even now, we've all seen various degrees of love. Love of family, friends, strangers, love stemming from our jobs even, put into action. Love put into action. Love enables us to fulfill obligations when it isn't easy. Love allows us to sacrifice our own desires for the good of others. Love seeks the best for the other. 
We've all seen various degrees of love put into action in our own lives. And in the season of Christmas, we continue to recognize and celebrate God's love for all of humanity. Our first reading today reminds us that God's love was revealed to us through the power of the Incarnation, and that God sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In that incarnational moment, God has given us the prime example of love, that God became one of us in all things but sin, so that we might have life. Not because God owes it to us, or that we did anything to twist God's arm to merit it, but rather because God loved first, because God is love. And God's love is generous. We see that truth in our gospel reading, which Jesus, the Word made flesh, manages to feed thousands out of a few pieces of fish and bread. Not only do we recognize God's love for us, but we also recognize just how abundant and just how generous God is with his love. In that truth, my brothers and sisters, may we continue to experience, be transformed and changed by God's love, to better love when it isn't easy, to sacrifice for the good of others, to seek the best for others. We love because God loved us first, for God is love. Brothers and sisters, together we bring before our Heavenly Father our needs and concerns. For first responders and healthcare workers, may the Lord protect them and bless them in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions of those who have participated in the special cathedral candle program, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, especially those infected by the coronavirus, may our compassionate God soon welcome them into eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, especially for Robert Concepcion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we love and thank you for your compassion toward each and every one of us. Hear and answer the prayers we bring before you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, my brothers, my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you granted to St. John Newman to imitate what he celebrate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, power, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. After spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe you are really here in the blessed sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Yes, yeah. 
Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the Church by the bond of unity and truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we turn to our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Guadalupe, as together we pray the prayer in the time of the coronavirus pandemic. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen, Queen of the, the angels, angels and, and Mother of the, of the Americas, Americas, we, we fly, fly to you today as your, as your beloved children, children, and we, we ask, ask you to intercede, intercede for us with your you son, as you did at, at the, the wedding, wedding in Cana. Cana. Pray, Pray for, for us, loving, loving Mother, mother and, and gain for our nation and world, and, world, and for, for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness, for those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Through the desert, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 